Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. I just got a new version pushed to my car and I'm on an early lunch break. I have 10.69.25, which is the holiday release for the beta crew. We are always behind the regular people that have the regular software. So I finally have all the added features. I think there's like a verified fart now <laughs> and they've added a bunch of other things like apple music so I, apple music is getting a lot of attention by the way and then if you have premium premium connectivity you get some extra features before i get started here i just wanted to point out i am in a neighborhood and there's some geese kind of walking around this neighborhood i'm keeping an eye on any traffic that might be coming but they they are moving a little bit at at the moment so i'm driving manually i thought i'd see if they'd show up and as you can see they are not showing up at all even though they're moving so my cameras normally will pick up like a dog or they'll see a human if they are you know in the road or in the way so i'm looking behind me there's no traffic here but it looks like these geese now are crossing the road oh look at that okay it is showing up as a dog a little temporary dog there okay now we have a fedex truck coming all right so i zoomed in and slowed way down look at this one of the geese actually shows up as a miniature vehicle <laughs> so it disappears and then later here it turns back into an animal very briefly so now it's gonna get interesting i'm gonna get out of the way here So they were showing up there as a dog. So that was kind of neat. Let's back up here and see if they start crossing the road here again. Uh, make sure I don't hit the curb. But uh, I am on an early lunch break and I thought I'd just take it out for a quick test. But before I do that, I'm going to run through some of the updates really quick. I want to check out the fart because I don't know what sound it makes. What's, what is a verified fart? I mean, I think a lot of people are curious. I saw it on social media, but I have no idea what it does. Uh, I'm familiar with all the other fart noises. So it, for those of you that aren't aware, let me just put it into drive here. It doesn't matter whether I'm in drive or park, you can still go into the toy box and see what's available. Now, a lot of them will not run if you're in drive, but the light show now you can schedule the light show 10 minutes in advance. It sounds like here's the emission. So I'm going to touch on that and there it is the verified fart. So let's see what it sounds like. Okay. It makes the Twitter sound. Hey, that's kind of clever. Uh, I think the fart sound is similar to the short shorts ripper. Yeah, but with the Twitter sound added in. It's a little bit longer than the short shorts ripper. But yeah, you get a lot of funny options in there. And, you know, other things, I haven't really played around too many with too much with the menus. This music icon over here, or actually it's on the left, it showed up. It allows me to um, pull left and right to see these cards again. So... I have access to, and again, a lot of the people that already have this software is like, okay, this is not new because you've been using it for a little while. Here's the tire pressure you can see and the trip. Uh, you can see your odometer. So I've got almost, well, 59,000 miles, so almost 60,000 miles. And I'm running about, uh, I want to say 20,000 miles on these Lexani high-performance tires, and they're doing pretty good. So here you can see some occlusion in, up ahead with the with the uh, geese. So they're showing up as kind of like gray matter on the screen, kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and get started. So I don't know that there's any changes per se with the beta software as far as the self-driving goes, but I have Burrito Perea dialed in. I'm gonna pick up, there's a winter storm on the way and it's gonna get pretty nasty out here. And I will also then take the car over to the mall really quick. So here's a, a pedestrian walking on the sidewalk. You can see them and there are the geese, there's actually two of them sitting in the road. So let's see if I come closer, what happens? Okay, so now they're starting to move. I'm gonna dial, it's already dialed in, so I'm gonna double tap down and the car is gonna take off. So. All right, so they're all walking away. Now, you, you saw there on the side of the screen, they weren't showing up in the grass, whereas the pedestrian did. So I think the, the fact that they showed up as a dog on the road isn't necessarily because it was in the road. It was just because it looked like a dog at that moment. And I think if they were outside of the road and they looked like a dog, they would also be displayed. But I don't know. I've never seen a, a geese or a goose show up as a dog before. So coming forward here, you could see that stop sign visualized really well, and it did stop fully. It waited for traffic. It looked, it did everything appropriately there. 
So coming up to this intersection here. Now this is where I always run into issues. For those of you who have been watching my channel, you know that right as soon as I turn right here, there's a phantom stop sign. So this is interesting. There's a bus on the left and it is not going all the way to the line. And it really needs to go forward further. So here now someone's coming up behind me. I don't know why it's stopping so far forward right now. That doesn't make any sense to me. So we are turning right and it's like it's not even trying to go forward. So the car in back of me is probably going to wonder what the heck is going on. So I'm just going to intervene here because, you know, I really should be further forward. I can turn right on red here. There's no sign saying I can't. Let's see now if it takes it. So there's the creep zone showing up. You see the blue. It is showing up and creeping forward. It's coming out. So accelerating really nicely. The roads are still, they still have a lot of traction on the roads. It hasn't really started coming down. They're saying we could get an inch an hour, but only three to six inches in this area. I will, ooh, my wipers there were freaking out. So there it was starting to slow down. I'm stepping on the accelerator because we do have someone right behind us and those wipers are gonna drive me crazy if they keep doing that. Uh, apply slight turning force to the steering wheel. So it was braking once again for that stop sign. Somebody mentioned what happens if you get into the other lane, like the middle lane or the far left lane, does it still stop? I tested that the other day and yes, it does still stop. So somehow it's recognizing that that is an intersection that we need to stop at. Even though there's no traffic light, I believe it's because of the stop signs there and it's an, it's a weird area with the car dealership there. So it's getting over, ooh, now changing its mind and oh boy, okay. So this is an intervention. I'm gonna have to take over because we do need to go right here. Uh, you know, it's miss, it totally missed that. Ooh, that was almost an accident right there. <laughs> it totally missed that. You know, that's really disappointing. I had to disengage there. So I'm gonna report that. I can still report it. I'm one of the few that can report instance and I believe it's because I'm in the Chicago area I, I don't know for a fact but I believe that is why and I also believe that it may be related to the fact that I post videos although I honestly don't think that's the case okay so coming up here we are going to be doing the u-turn it looks like so depending on the day or I don't know how it decides but it will always change the route so sometimes it will go right onto Plum Grove Road up here and then do a U-turn and other times it will go left. So it's, it's choosing to go left today. So let's just zoom in and see what's gonna happen here. All right, here we are getting in the left turn lane. Okay, good. It's choosing the correct left turn lane in order to do this U-turn. It's, it's probably going to attempt it. Okay, it's slowing down for the red light. Very good, okay. So far, so good, no issues. And this is the tricky part. So the last part, and the reason I say it's been controversial is because I push it to the limit. And I do that on purpose when I'm filming. When I'm not filming, I am not really putting it through those stress tests. So generally speaking, beta operates clumsily. And the biggest issue with that is, is not that it's, it's not gonna get you to where you're trying to go. The biggest issue with that is that it confuses other people around you. So that is one of my biggest pain points with the software and why I hesitate a lot of times to just let it do what it's doing because it creates mixed signals for everyone around you, especially the people behind you. Okay, here we go. Turning left. All right. Nice and smooth for that turn. No issues there. Now let's see, it's going to, the last time it went into these rumble strips just a little bit. So we've got the car behind us, left turn signal goes on, and as you can see, there's no road here. So I'm gonna take over, I'm gonna keep the left turn signal on, and I'm gonna execute this manually, okay? So that other car behind me just kept going straight. So I had to do that manually, but that's fine. And again, it really depends on the traffic around you. So here we are, I'm gonna, double tap it on it's it's wanting to go back out on the main road so i'm going to take over because this is an entrance all right we just finished with the drive through i'm going to go ahead and proceed forward okay so we'll double tap down oh, 
after the car sees these barriers, the automatic windshield wipers turn on and going right here. Okay. And coming around really nice and smooth there. Kind of swerving to the right there. Didn't need to do that. And now again, swerving to the right. Okay, and we're going to be going right here at the stop sign and then turning left. So this is going to be interesting. We have to go over three lanes of traffic to get into the left turn lane. I'm a little bit skeptical, especially if it goes right now, it's going to fail. Okay, good that it waited. So we do have some cars coming here on the left. All right. All right, so here's where it needs to go way over. Way. <laughs> okay. No, I didn't think it was going to be able to do that. So I'm taking over. All right. So that that would have been interesting had it been able to do that. So that's one of the things, you know, it, if it if it tells you that it can can go this path, it should be able to do it. So here we are in the far left turn lane and we do need to turn right up here. So the lane selection was a little bit sketchy on this one. Proceed, proceeding forward, windshield wipers went on, going through this yellow light now and making its way through. Thankfully it didn't stop midway, that would have been horrible. We do have a car behind us now. Here is where it's going to be tricky. It's got to get all the way over to the right. Okay, it did one of them. It needs to go right now. Okay, the light, right turn signal went on very briefly. Okay, going on again. Good that it took it. Very, very good. Okay, it, and it kept really close to that Kia in front of us. That was good. Okay, slowing down. Ooh. Okay, that was an abrupt slowdown. So thankfully, the person behind us was paying attention. My eyes went immediately to their eyes to make sure they weren't looking away from the road because that could have been ugly. You never know with people with all these mobile devices now. Everybody's using their phones in their cars. So that's one good thing about beta. Okay, here we go. Come on, keep going forward. Okay, there we got honked at. So I had to intervene. I stepped on the accelerator there just ever so slightly just to encourage it to go forward. It was slowing down way too much there. But that's one good thing about beta is I will have to say it has made me a much safer driver. I don't use a mobile device anymore. As you can see right now, we have an interesting situation. The light is green and this is an unprotected left. So there's a lot of cars coming. It needs to find the gap. It's intelligently waiting to go into the middle of the intersection. And I do appreciate that. So thankfully nobody's behind me. If somebody was behind us, they would have said, hey, why aren't you going? Because it's very custom to customary or you know, ex generally accepted that you creep into the middle of the intersection and make it at the last second. You know, that's that's normal. Everybody does that pretty much. But, uh, you know, nobody was behind us, so I'm fine waiting. Now, what's going to happen here is since we are first in line, there's going to be a green arrow. So it's going to be a now a protected left turn. So this, I have no doubt it's going to be able to handle it, which would have been interesting had it tried to creep into the middle of the intersection. So that's interesting behavior to note is that it is overly cautious and does not try to get in the middle of intersections. And that happened when I was downtown as well in a particular area. And it's not, you know, it's not always the right thing to do, to be honest with you. Okay, there it just slowed down. So I had to step on the accelerator. There's another intervention. Whoa. Okay, yeah, I had to take over there. Sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. So at first I was extremely optimistic, as you could see that the car would be able to handle this situation. So this, I have no doubt it's gonna be able to handle it. But then obviously it really screwed up. So I'll just replay that here. There's another intervention, whoa. Okay, yeah, I had to take over there, sorry. So I did replay this several different times just to try to figure out what it was trying to go around or why it was doing that. And I think it may be seeing another road here possibly. There's a traffic light symbol that shows up, but I don't think that was it. So really strange. Oh, okay. Wow. I was not expecting that. That was, oof, that was not good. I, what, I don't know what happened there. All right. 
All right, so we're here. There we go. Let's see if it can get us out of the parking lot. Now, to my knowledge, it cannot turn on Rainbow Road unless you're on a road. So to turn on Rainbow Road, you quadruple tap down on the right drive stalk. So I'm going to double tap down, and beta is going to turn on, and the car is going to attempt to get out of this parking lot. Coming up here, and it did. It got out of the parking lot. So here's somebody crossing the road. They are turning blue on the screen. Just as a test, let's quadruple tap down. One, two, three, four. It does let me turn it on. How about that? Slowing down here. So this person is turning left, and I was giving them the ability to turn, but I had the right of way, so I had to intervene there. I'm going to report that. All right, turning left here. We have to negotiate with this incoming traffic on the left. And now is a good time to go. Uh, really should go. Okay, I had to intervene again there. Whoa, stepped on the accelerator pretty aggressively there. Okay, and then turning right here. All right, so turning right here. Okay, waiting. There's some traffic now turning left from straight ahead. Okay, now it's good to go. Somebody is right behind us. Okay, it's hesitating. Come on. Okay, I'm at a step on the accelerator again there. Report that. All right. A lot of those situations where it just makes it awkward. And, you know, people have said different things like mixed signals, confusion. But my, you know, it, like I said before, many times, summing it all up into one word, awkward. Okay, so to my knowledge, you can't have Rainbow Road mode enabled with Santa mode. So maybe you don't know about Santa mode, but your car turns into a sleigh. All of the cars around you turn into reindeer. And if a human is walking around, it shows up as an elf. So while we are driving let's go ahead and turn that on and to do that so again we're gonna have some music playing it's really annoying maybe i'll wait until we get into the left turn lane here okay perfect so what you do is you you put on Ooh, it it was going to go in the far left one and then it shows the right one you never know with beta what it's going to do so to turn on santa mode you can go into the settings and use and get distracted and <laughs> you know that's one way to do it but what I like to do is talk to the car and all you need to do is say, ho, ho, ho. So you can see this person coming up behind me here and the car initiates this left. Now watch all this oncoming traffic. The car slows down here, 13, 12, 11. So I got very anxious because driving and seeing on camera are two different things, but it's very, very, very tormenting when you don't know if the car is gonna to come to a complete stop. You just can't trust it today. So that's one of the biggest issues. And here was a perfect example of that. It just could have created a very dangerous situation and I had to put faith in the fact that it would follow through and accelerate through the intersection. Okay, so look at all these cars. A lot of car dealers on Gulf Road, which is what we're driving on now. So you see tons of, there's just information overload to the cameras. So it's trying to visualize everything it sees, right? And as you can see, it's just really struggling to, to keep up with that. But I do find it cool that you can run Santa mode with Rainbow Road mode. That is new to me. So overall, seven interventions, five disengagements. I think there's definitely room for improvement from the Tesla team on this. Anyway, stay safe, everybody. Stay warm. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. And I will see you in the next video. Hopefully we get version 11. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later.